Hi guys, how are you all doing? Welcome to Tafrox HQ. It is absolutely pouring down dark and gloomy outside, but that's not how it is in here today. Before I start, if you could subscribe and hit that little notification bell, I'd really appreciate that. In this week's tutorial, we have not just one or two, but a whole forest of beautiful trees for you to try. Some are super simple, one or two may be a little bit challenging, but I'm pretty sure you guys will be able to crack them all. There's a couple of projects in this week's that require dotting tools. Now, if you don't have dotting tools, don't worry about it. You can use anything that you have at home with a little bit of a point on the end. So you can use knitting needles, the wrong end of a paintbrush, the right end of a paintbrush even. I've seen people do dotting with paintbrushes. I can't. You can try toothpicks, cocktail sticks, crochet hooks, the end of a pencil, the eraser end of the pencil. There are so many options available to you. Also in this week's tutorial, you're going to see me use this little tub. What's in this little tub? Okay, right. So I purchased glitter varnish acrylic paint and it just wasn't glittery enough for me. So I went to B&Q. If you're across the pond, that could be Lowe's or the Home Depot. And I purchased glitter paint additive. It comes in a bag, it's super fine. You just pour it into your paints and mix it in. Only with this, I poured a little bit of this into this and then added a little bit of the glitter. So because we have a whole forest of trees for you today, I'm gonna to stop with the waffling, grab my cuppa and start the project.
So what do you think, guys? Do you think you can get some of those done? I know you can. So let's have a look at them. They're not in the order that they are in the video because I can't remember how they went. Here is the, the one with the dotting tools and that glitter stuff that I was mentioning, that's what I used for the snow. That's absolutely stunning. We also have the kawaii one. Now I don't know if I'm saying that right but that's close enough for me. He's awesome. I love kawaii everything. We have the little windswept tree. This is my daughter's favourite. What else have we got? Oh yes. This one. Now this one's fabulous. I did try to do it all in one go without taking the paint pen off the rock. But as you saw, that wasn't possible. There's also another simple one using just lines. Of course, you don't have to take the pen off the rock or your paintbrush off the rock at any stage. You can just scribble it in. And then there's this one. Of course, you've got to have a bit of a normal one, haven't you? This weekend, I spoke to my grandson and I asked him what would he suggest for the next video? And he said he'd like to see snowmen. So next week's episode will be a whole flurry of snowmen. Well, at least I hope it's going to be a flurry. If you've enjoyed this week's video, guys, please like and share it with your friends. We upload new tutorials every Monday. So if you subscribe and click that little notification bell, you'll be able to find out when we've got new videos for you. Before you leave today, if you'd like to sponsor Tough Rocks, either by buying us a gift from our Amazon wish list or by using our Patreon or Ko-fi account, everything that we receive goes towards making these videos. All that's left for me to say now, guys, is ciao for now and don't forget, keep on rocking!